Welcome again to Devotion and Prayer with the devotional Prepare the Way by Joe Ingalcomeyer. Today's reading is January the 29th, Putting God First. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Matthew chapter 6 verse 33. We know we need more faith. We know we should spend more time with God's word. We know we need to pray far more than we do, yet so many things crowd in. We need to recall perhaps the words of Jesus about putting God first. Are you tempted as a student to let your school assignments crowd up Bible study time? Do you long to excel intellectually? Consider then this. As a means of intellectual training, the Bible is more effective than any other book or all other books combined. No other study can impart such mental power as does the effort to grasp the stupendous truths of Revelation. Education, page 124. Are you pressured doing so many good things, so many necessary details, so many things for the Lord that you scarcely have time to pray before you begin the day? Do you fall into bed at night, often late at night, so utterly exhausted that you spend but seconds upon your knees? Consider then this. While we are to labor earnestly for the salvation of the lost, we must also take time for meditation, for prayer, and for the study of the Word of God. Only the work accomplished with much prayer and sanctified by the merit of Christ will in the end prove to have been efficient for good. The Desire of Ages, page 362. Glance back over this past year. How much of your work by the above standard was efficient for good? Could one work diligently, provide almost everything for one's children, and yet find in the end that it has been for naught? Could one administer a school, or a conference, or pastor a church, and yet accomplish nothing for eternity? Could one run a dormitory, sacrificing oneself constantly yet not praying and discover it has all accomplished exactly nothing that is lasting. Shouldn't we make sure that we are putting first things first? Just want to read this part again. As a means of intellectual training, the Bible is more effective than any other book or all other books combined. Then also it says, only the work accomplished with much prayer and sanctified by the merit of Christ will in the end prove to have been efficient for good. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things, all these things shall be added unto you. Matthew 6 verse 33. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we praise you for being God, Creator, Lord, King, Ruler, Sovereign. We come before you humbly confessing that we are sinners, and we claim your grace, your mercy, your love, your forgiveness. We pray for the Holy Spirit to abide in us, to dwell in us, to stay in us, to control us, and to let his will be done in our lives, which means Christ will Christ's will will be done in our lives, which means your will will be done in our lives. Lord, your word says for us to seek you first. This clearly means first thing in the morning as well, to put you first, foremost, number one priority. It does not mean simply to seek you first thing in the morning and then go on with the rest of our day, but to make you priority. Lord, we struggle though. There are things that we're reading in, the, in this devotion that we know but the issue is, it's a struggle. The sinful nature fights against what you want, Lord. And Lord, we say, Lord, help us, enable us to humble ourselves. Give us the power and help us to claim by faith your promise that we will march in victory. 
be able to obey you. Lord, you sent your disciples out without money, without extra clothing and different things. But when they came back, you asked, did they lack anything? And the answer was no. You tell us to seek you first. And you say that because you know what we need. Often while I was listed about students and teachers, a key factor is finances. Many of us, we have to admit that we will put the Bible time aside because we have bills to pay. We have goals to meet. And often for the money, we will put that extra hour in. But we cut back from your time for the money, thinking we'll make it up or we'll donate the funds. But you said, seek ye first the kingdom of God. Lord, whatever we need, as you said, we can't make one of our hair, a hair on our head grow white or black. We can't make ourselves grow one cubit more. We cannot do anything. We chase after things. But Lord, you said that you take care of the fowls. You said the lilies of the field you take care of. But if you're going to throw the grass into destruction, it was going to die. How much more will you clothe us? How much more will you feed us over the sparrows, over the birds, Lord? How much more will you take care of us? Take care of our children, our family members, our needs, our church, Lord. And you say, seek me first. So Lord, help us to do just that. Help us to seek you out. Spend that time in prayer. First thing in the morning, last thing at night, in the middle of the day. Help us to find that private time with you. Help us to pick up your word and study it and find your truths for us. Lord, help us just to fall in love with you and to make you number one. And let us add to, when it says, seek ye first, let us add what we read previously. Man shall live by every word. Because if we're seeking you first, we have to live by every word that proceeds from your mouth. So Lord, let us realize that your word will guide us. So we must come to you regularly for every single moment, every single action, every single thought to be in line with you and we can be guaranteed that we're in right. We're to pray for you to lead us into the paths. We're to pray for your will to be done. So Lord, help us to put things in priority. We pray for your angels to strengthen us, to guide us, to keep us on track. Your Holy Spirit to do the same work, Lord, and to keep us in accordance with you, accordance with your will, that we can seek you first. Give us this heart, this nature, that we will constantly Stop. Just not make it a cliche, what would Jesus do, but make it a fact, a reality in our lives that whenever we stop to do anything, we we'll say, God, what do you want me to do? And we'll say, God, I need to find time with you. I need to pray with you. I need to read your word. Make this a reality in our lives, Lord. Not just in ourselves, in our church, in our conference, in the worldwide church and share it with the other believers and bring others into the fold to believe and receive this wonderful gospel. The blessing of seeking you first. We thank you. We praise you. In Jesus' name. Amen.